A pleasant day to everyone. I am Anthony Castro, the leader of Group 1B of BSN 3G. Together with me are my members, Jenny Ann Canlas, Cheska Daniel Costello, and Nicole de los Reyes. Today, we are going to present our study regarding the academic motivation of nursing students in flexible learning modality. What is the rationale behind this study? Motivation plays a crucial role in the success of a student in their academic life. However, due to certain factors such as the COVID-19 pandemic and the shift to online learning, academic motivation might have been altered. Thus, the study aimed to examine if the academic motivation of nursing students were affected due to the abrupt changes brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic and the shift to online learning. As future LaSalle nurses, the researchers pursued this topic because academic motivation predetermines achievements and learning. The study may also help unveil some gaps between the nursing students' learning and the delivery of nursing education in hopes of producing better or higher quality of LaSalle nurses in the future. For the objectives or statement of the problem, the following are the questions that the study aims to answer. First, what is the profile of the participants when grouped according to age, sex, year level, GPA, and internet connectivity? Second, what is the level of academic motivation of nursing students according to goal orientation, test value, control of learning beliefs, test anxiety, intrinsic and extrinsic motivations, and perceptions toward online learning during the COVID-19 pandemic? And lastly, is there a significant relationship between the academic motivation of nursing students and profile variables, age, sex, year level, GPA, and internet connectivity? The research design used was descriptive quantitative. The participants of the study were 274 nursing students from first to fourth year levels. The sampling techniques used were stratified random sampling and systematic sampling methods. Using the stratified random sampling method, the researchers were able to determine the sample population at each year level using the systematic sampling method. The participants from each year level were identified every third from the list. The research instrument was designed as a 20-item survey questionnaire, modified and based on two existing instruments. First is the motivation strategies for a learning questionnaire by Pintrich and others, 1991. And the other is the Academic Motivation Scale College version by Valorant and others, 1992. The validity of the instrument was examined by three experts on research and garnered a score of 4.82, which was interpreted as excellent. For the reliability of the instrument, the researchers conducted a preliminary survey on 30 random nursing students, which garnered a score of 0.858 on Crowdbox Alpha, which means that the instrument was reliable. Results and discussions. For the demographic profile of the participants, nursing students within the ages of 18 to 22 years old were predominant among other age groups, as they comprise about 92% of the population. Other age groups of the participants were those under 18 years old of 0.7% and above 22 years old of 5.5%. Among the sexes, there were more females than male nursing students, as almost three-fourths of the population was female and only 27% were males, presenting a ratio of nearly 3 to 1. There were 64 participants from the first year, 79 from the second year, 80 from the third year, and 51 from the fourth year, as we determined using a stratified sampling method. In terms of GPA, more than half of the population earned a GPA of 86 to 90. Almost 22% had GPA scores between 91 and 100, while only 21% had GPA scores of 85 and below. Lastly, with internet connectivity, 35.4% were in category T, stable internet and gadget for the online class, while 64.6% were in between categories 2A and 2B, limited internet and mobile or desktop gadgets. For the level of academic motivation among nursing students, the results show that the average academic motivation of nursing students, according to goal orientation, was 3.20, interpreted as a high level of motivation. The average academic motivation according to task value was also high at 3.21. High levels of motivation were also shown in control of learning beliefs, test anxiety, intrinsic and extrinsic motivations, and perceptions towards online learning during the COVID-19 pandemic, with respective scores of 3.06, 2.90, 3.24, and 2.54. And lastly, we have the relationship between profile variables and academic motivation. 
when the levels of academic motivation of nursing students are correlated with the study variables at the 0.05 alpha level, there is no statistically significant relationship between students grouped according to age, sex, year level, and GPA. Thus, in this case, the null hypothesis was accepted. However, internet connectivity had a p-value of 0.006 which means that it has a significant relationship with academic motivation. It can be noted that the variable internet connectivity is statistically correlated to the academic motivation levels and thus most likely is also its determinant. Thus, the null hypothesis was rejected when the academic motivation of nursing students was correlated with the internet connectivity. Based on the findings of the study, the researchers conclude the following. First, the level of academic motivation among nursing students is generally high amidst the changes brought about by the pandemic and the shift to online learning. Second, there is a significant relationship found between academic motivation and internet connectivity only. There are no significant relationships found between academic motivation and profile variables age, sex, year level, and GPA. With these findings and conclusions, the following recommendations are proposed. The enhancement of the quality of teaching among educators through workshops and training, the adaptation of new teaching and learning strategies, more linkages and exposure to clinical simulations, timely feedback from the clinical instructors, periodic evaluations of academic motivation with the help of guidance counselors, giving of materials or talks regarding stress management and such to the nursing students, the replication of the study on a larger scale, doing a qualitative study based on academic motivation and conducting a study on the clinical instructor's perspective and how they are able to manage teaching when the student's academic motivation is at a certain level.